now that you have the project file saved, uh, let's go with a couple of tricks on how to make the part file. Now, you have a lot of control over what you do here, so there's not a lot that my video can really help you with, but let's look at a couple of simple things with the setup. For example, we have to use a new tool for you. It's the polygon tool. And we're going to make a couple of polygons. They need to be six-sided along the same line over here. These should be the exact same size. I'm going to click equal. Click the left one. Click the right one. Um, I want from top to bottom to be 0.3 inches. And I'm going to use this vertical constraint on the tops of each of these guys. Notice my vertical constraint actually goes left and right instead of up and down. It's because of this view cube. So I want those to be pointing the same direction, so they're flat. It doesn't actually matter, but it makes it look a lot better. Um, and then I want to space these out to be three inches apart. So if we start with this, then other things that we do, like let's say I want to make a circle here and a circle here. I'll probably make those circles the same size. Some things that you may or may not want to do uh, would include this tangent constraint. If you draw a line, you can make a line touch a circle at a single point. You could draw yourself a line, make that a construction line, and then you could mirror those same things around it. Let's call that the mirror line. It'll flip it around for you. It's not quite what I wanted, so I'm just going to undo that. Let's say that you have some kind of a plan already in your mind, um, and that this is actually it. This is exactly what you wanted. When you go to extrude this, I'm only going to have you extrude this up about 0.1 inches. So you have to have everything selected, type in 0.1, hit enter. Now I don't want the nuts to go all the way through, so on the bottom side of this, we are going to offset, so project your geometry first, but grab this offset tool, and we're going to go in 0 0.025 and 0 0.025. And then we're also going to add extrude um, that little thing you just made and the parts around it another 0 0.025. That will ensure that the little pieces that you put in here won't go all the way through to the other side. They're being supported all the way around on six sides, and we can press those into place. Another thing that I think just looks nice is once you have your design, you right click on it, say new sketch, project your geometry on it, and then if we go to offset again, we can make that 0 0.025, and if you just raise that 0 0.025, that adds enough detail where you can see it, uh, you can kind of feel it with your thumbnail, and that's about the smallest you can go and still have it show up. If you go any smaller than that, 